Good morning, everyone. It's Lee Henson, president and founder of Agile Dad, and it's time for today's episode of The Daily Stand-Up. Without any further ado, let's get started. It's Friday, and you know what that means. It's time for us to have our non-Agile, Agile topic of the week, and this one is one of my favorites. It's something that I've been dying to talk to you about for a long time, and I finally remembered this week. I said, oh yeah, this would be a great topic for Friday. I want to talk about three things you can do, or three ways that you can get closer to achieving your life goals. And people always ask me, they say, it seems like it's serendipitous that you, you're so successful that things are going your way. How do you get to that point? How do I get to that point? How, how does someone, is there a path? Is there things you need to do? And I often hear people say, every time I set a goal, I, I often find myself floundering or failing or, or I, I lose traction or something happens or there's a pandemic or whatever the case may be, right? And it always just sets you away from your goal. But the truth is, there should be some pretty open, easy things that we can do in order to help us achieve goals. So I wanted to take just a few moments to go through the top three things that I've identified that have helped me be successful. And even though it's not agile specific, I think you might find some agile flavoring in here. So here we go. So coming in at number one, make sure you set aside some time to understand the reasons behind why you want to achieve your goal. Don't move forward unless you can understand how this goal is going to align with your personal values. How does it align with what you believe? How does it align with what you find is your foundation? How does the goal help you move closer to your vision in the future? Does it help you accelerate what you're trying to do? Does it set you further behind? Is there a true alignment? And then the third one, what excites you about the goal, right? And that's all tied to understanding the reason behind it. You have to be excited. You have to be motivated. It has to align with who you are, and it has to be part of your vision for where you're trying to go, right? Those are the key elements that are important for, a goal, for, for a step number one to achieving your goals. Step number two, here it comes. Break your goal into smaller daily or weekly tasks. Don't try to do all your goal at once. And, and there's the agile piece. You knew it was coming. When you break things down into small achievable chunks and you time box increments and you get it all set out there, this makes it easy for you to achieve. You know, I often tell people it's better to, you know, it's good to have a dream of the stars and the moon and all those wonderful things. It's good to want to boil the ocean or to solve world hunger, but in order to get there, I think that we can be more successful if we have several smaller incremental dreams or several smaller incremental goals along the way that are going to help us get there. Once you see one achievement and you see that your dream is possible, it's going to help you build on those achievements until you get to the point where you, know, you can get to where you need to be. When I first hopped on my echelon behind me and I started riding, let me tell you something. I started off you know, well over 300 pounds. And I was just like, this is going to be an impossible goal. My goal was to get to 189 pounds, which is ridiculous. I mean, there's no way that was my college football days weight. You know, I was just like, that's not going to happen. But then as I rode and I felt despair, I started setting smaller goals. I, you know, I want to get below 300. I want to get closer to 250. And, you know, I'm proud to say now that I'm a lot closer to 250 than I am to 300 plus. I'm still not close to 189, but by setting smaller incremental goals, it helped me achieve that weight loss journey, or I shouldn't say achieve, but it's helping me on my journey to achieve the goals that I'm setting, right? And a big part of that is, of course, eating healthy, dieting, and you know, doing the exercise. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see the shape of my body change. I'm excited to see things happen. I'm excited to feel stronger. And I'm excited to share these happiness, these happy outcomes with you, right? That, that's important. So you need to make sure you build your confidence in order to be able to achieve a goal. And in order to do that, sometimes you have to step way outside of your comfort zone to achieve it. So don't be afraid to look like a sausage as the 300 pound guy on the bike, you know, with the skin tight clothes <laughs> that you probably shouldn't be wearing, but, but, you know, look at it as, Hey, this is step one of my journey. And I don't care what other people think, because in the end, you know, I'm going to feel better. I'm going to look better. I'm going to be happier. And then coming in at number three, make sure you share your goal with others, share your goal with somebody else, even if it's just somebody that you're close to, or if you're one of those people, share it on social media, <laughs> let the world know. It's, it's a wonderful, powerful tool to have an accountability partner. And if you have an accountability partner, someone who's going to hold you to it and say, hey, you're doing so great, you know, stick with it. I think that's going to make your life a lot easier. It's a lot easier to achieve any goal when you have uh, an accountability partner. A few years back, someone guided me and walked me over to uh, the concept of making your goals smart, S-M-A-R-T. 
And uh, they were talking about the concept of SMART goals. And of course, SMART is an acronym, but I think that SMART definitely applies and it makes a lot of sense, especially when you're trying to achieve life goals. So the S in SMART stands for specific. You wanna make your goals specific in nature. You wanna make sure you understand exactly what you're trying to do. And um, don't make it overarching, overreaching, right? Just, just make a specific goal of something that you can do and make sure that goal is M, measurable. Make sure you can measure. Uh, success against your goal. How am I doing? How am I tracking? Am I getting closer to my goal? Am I f fading away from my goal? You need to be able to measure things. The A stands for attainable. You want to make sure you're not trying to you know, be the first person to walk on Mars. Great goal, but I, I just don't know how attainable that is, right? Uh, so you need to set goals that are definitely attainable, something that you know in your lifetime that you can achieve. The R is the one that most people struggle with the most, and that's relevant. Mm -hmm. I hear a lot of people who set goals, but the goals that they set to achieve are, are irrelevant. They're just, they're, they're not context important. You know, you need to make sure that the goals are relevant to you, relevant to what you're trying to do, relevant to your personal life, relevant to where you're trying to take things. And last but not least, you want to make sure all your goals are time boxed. I know that sounds crazy. Here I go in Agile again. But if you establish a realistic deadline and say, I'm going to time box and try to get it during this time frame, even if you don't achieve your goal at 100%, you can still see marked progress because you set an end, an end date and a deadline. And what most people don't get, and I hear people all the time say, well, dates shouldn't be part of Agile. You shouldn't have deadlines. A team should just work hard, be trusted, and achieve. If you don't time box things, you're never going to be successful, whether it's Agile or life. You need to set some time boxes. But you also need to accept that whatever goal happens within that time box is the goal that was meant to be your goal, that uh, that's where you were meant to be. And that's where, it, that's where it ended. And that's where your journey is complete for that time box. There's no rule saying you can't set another time box and try to achieve that goal further. So I hope this uplifted you. I hope it made you feel better today. Friday is always my favorite day because I get to share these kind of messages with you. As always, I encourage you to be you. Do the things you need to do to be successful. Uplift others. Find a way to serve others and uplift others. Find a way to make a difference in life and find a way to be more agile. Until next week, I encourage you to have an amazing weekend. Go out and do something to change somebody's life and go out to do something to change your life. Stay well, stay healthy, and stay agile, my friends. Until next time, do take care.